Hi there guys, welcome back to the Over and Under Fishing Channel. Uh yeah, that's that's not gonna work. Hi everyone and welcome back to our channel. I am so excited today. So so excited. We started playing with the lures, we got everything out, and what we're gonna do is gonna be our top five perch fishing lures. Yep, Yay! thought it seemed like quite a cool idea. We'll share with you guys what it is that we've used over the years that we've found yeah. that works. Uh, hopefully, help some of you guys out. And hopefully, in the comments section, you guys will feed back to us. Tell us your top five favourite lures, and we'll compare and contrast and see what the common theme is. But without further ado, IV, your fifth favourite perch lure of all time. Not that it's difficult or anything. <laughs> <laughs> okay, my fifth favourite lure of all time would definitely be Carol Shad. Why is that? What is it about the cannibal shads? It's just they always work. There's never a situation where you're going to use a cannibal shad and it's not going to work. It doesn't matter what colour really, although I do like the blue one most. Just really good lures. It has become one of those lures, hasn't it, that, you know, everyone everyone will have some cannibal shads yeah. in the box somewhere. It's become almost like the shad. Yeah. You know, if you're buying a small shad, the chances are you're going to be having a look at a cannibal shad at the very least. I, I, I can't think of anyone I know who hasn't got a couple who of cannibals much. in the box. Yeah. Yeah, very true. I mean, you like cannibal shads, don't you? Yeah, actually, they came number five on my list as well. It's a little collection of cannibals here. He has more cannibal All shads than me, clearly. shapes and sizes and colours. Um, I've picked out this one in particular. It's one of the older versions of the cannibal shad. But for a long, long time, this, this exact lure is the one that I had my PB perch on. The one from the big lake that I now yeah. can't catch any perch from. So cannibal shad's been a big part of my perch fishing for my whole life, really. Going, In fact, going. wasn't it only just last summer when we lost the last smallest version of the old yeah, cannibal yeah, shad? Yeah, yeah, so the, yeah. So the absolutely deadly one was the one with the white top. We're talking the old original cannibal shads with the little fish inside the belly. Yeah, we had we had one of the white tops left, and that that's gone. That was a sad day. That was a very sad day. <laughs> yeah, we don't talk about that. Was. Yeah, great shout, cannibal shads, absolutely fantastic lure, and I don't blame you for putting them in number five because I did exactly the same thing. Uh, copied me basically. <laughs> you are my, <laughs> you're my inspiration when it comes to perch fishing. Number four. Number four. So number four was a little bit of a tricky one for me. Um, so I ended up going. This is going to seem really, really simple and a bit basic. Just like you. <laughs> Just like me. Little spinners. Actual little spinners, little meps, little Rotex spinners, that's an Abu Droppens, another little rot couple of Rotex there. They're so versatile and they get so much vibration and noise and flash. I mean, I can't, I can't think of anyone in over perch fishes who hasn't caught perch on spinners before. It's just such a reliable and versatile bait. Have you never caught a perch on a spinner before? I don't like fishing spinners because it's really boring. We need to keep an eye out for an upcoming vlog where Ivy and I just go out fishing spinners for the day because that is unbelievable. I didn't know The that. title's going to be Forced to Fish with Spinners. <laughs> Forced to Fish with Spinners, <laughs> but now converted because they're a brilliant perch bait. You guys out there that fish spinners, you know what the score is. Great for pike, great for perch, chub love them, super easy to fish, cast a mile, fish them at different depths. They do cast a mile. Why wouldn't you have a couple of perch spinners in the box? I know I have, I know most other anglers have. This one's just a bit weird. I do, don't get me wrong, I have... I think I have about 10. Just never spinners. use them. Just, I just find them a bit boring. Right, it is just a cast and wine bait, isn't it? But I think it, it's one of those baits that you use to draw fish. Yeah, yeah. Perhaps, yeah. When, perhaps when you cast the spin around a little bit, you perhaps change to a cannibal shad or one of the other baits that IB's got in front of it one here. One of the bit prettier ones. But absolutely, top five perch baits for me. Gotta have some little spinners in there. What about you, number four? Oh, this is so difficult for me. Uh, number four comes the Eco Gear Pocket In Kit. Little tiny box, uh, and the baits in here are like macro tiny tiny. Literally the tiniest baits that I have in my box. Aside from the fact from the baits, the box is brilliant for jig heads, for other lures, just for I don't know, put your earrings in, whatever. You do you, do you, you do you. Uh, really good, especially if it's tough and you need to like scale it down all the way. Perfect. I, don't, I think that's a great shout. Actually, that pocketing kit is brilliant. I still think, in terms of um, small perch lures, it's the best kit on the market. I'm not quite sure what's going to happen with Eco Gear at the moment. I know that the distributor has pulled out, and I, I don't know what's going to happen. But for goodness' sake, if you find a pocket in in your local tackle shop, 
pick it up and pick one up for us as well because we're, <laughs> we're struggling to find them too they're brilliant great baits the jig heads in them are fantastic brilliant little box I mean, if you just want to yeah. go out for a day the jig heads in here are fantastic hence I have no jig heads in here because they're all in my box because I only bought them <laughs> Mm-hmm. Okay, number four for you. Have you said it already? Yeah, number four oh, is my spinner, so yeah, it's going to be number it? three for me. Yeah, my number three, it's another shad. The fat tea tail minnow, the, the, the savage gear tea tail minnow, I mean, it, it, it slotted in so quickly into most perch anglers' armory as being one of the must have shads. So that it, there wasn't really a period where it wasn't regarded as a great shad. Yeah, we're that was kind of weird. They came onto the market in the kit form first and everyone just caught a load of fish on them and they just immediately became if you're going perch fishing you're going to need some tea tails again loads of different colors few different sizes big paddle on the back nice wide body i think you use them more now than you use cannibal shots. no doubt about it i use these more than I use cannibal shots. absolutely and I'll, I'll continue to actually my um my pb my biggest ever perch was a a, a chew fish so it doesn't count um, <laughs> <laughs> in fact my two biggest ever perch were chew fish yeah about that big um, were chew fish that uh, ate tea tails. You know, we we just got on them for a few hours one day after a, after an LAS do, and so geez, again, I, I just wouldn't be without these. In fact, we did a vlog, didn't we, on we the did. Trent, where the vast majority of the fish we caught during the day on the tea tails. were on tea tails. It's a great bait. It's a, it's a fantastic range of colours and sizes. It's a fantastic movement in the water. It's it. it, it as I said at the start, it just slotted in as a great bait straight away, and usually it doesn't happen that quickly. So, tea tail minnow, number three, you got to have some. What about you, number three? I have some exciting range micro shards from Fox. I have a bunch here. Uh, they are, again, the tiniest little shards, but they're brilliant. I'm pretty sure these are like one of the first shards I started fishing with when we started like going yeah, out fishing together. Yeah, yeah. And that was like, oh, what are you going to put on your jig head? A micro shad. <laughs> <laughs> Just to clarify, you ever talking here, there's two sizes in these um, raid shads, and this is the smaller one of the tiny, two. Tiny, tiny one. 2.5 centimeters, something like that. Tiny little bait. Huge paddle tail on it, though. Yeah, massive yeah. paddle tail. If you scaled that up to a normal size bait, like a 20 centimeter version, the paddle would be the size of your hand. I'm pretty sure I've tried them even on drop shotting. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I've, I've seen guys drop shot these as well because of the size. I mean, they're so imitative as well. But if you can't catch fish on those, geez. Really, really cool bait. It's going to be pretty It's tough. a must. Ab- yeah, absolute must. So, what's your number two? My number two, right. So, uh, actually, similar kind of theme to your um, Fox Micro Shad. Uh, mine's a finesse bait as well. The Savage Gear, Savage Gear, three D. It's my fry. number two. So your number two as well. We agree on something. I'm glad this is on film. Um, yeah, it's the three D fry. Uh, two different sizes, fifty five and sixty five. Right. What's your favourite colour of the three D fry? Uh, oh crikey, I really like the motor oil. See, that's the most my least favourite colour of the motor oil. That's probably why I've got so many left. <laughs> my most colour is. The white one. Yep, that, that'd be my second favourite colour without a doubt. In fact, we did a um, a challenge on the 3D yeah, Friday night yeah, on the yeah, canal. Yeah, with 20 odd fish in an hour and a half, was it, or something like that? I mean, they're just. All mine, and it lost the challenge very easily. I think we'll watch it back. <laughs> um, yeah, there's two sizes, 65 and 55. And actually, it's one of the only lures I know of where when you buy a pack, you get both the paddle tail for jigging yep. and you get a little fork tail which is great for the drop shot. Uh, so I actually really like that. I thought that was very clever to put two different types of bait yeah, in the same yeah, pack. Yeah, it yeah. just means that when you buy a pack, you just get more options out of yeah. it. I thought that was really cool. So it's one of those things that, you know, if I'm going out with clients, particularly if we're going on the canal, because a lot of people want to learn this like lure fish and stuff, it's one of the first baits that goes on. And the f- uh, thing that I found out, especially from the challenge video, because of the body shape, you can, if you need it, you can cut it quite, like you can scale it down quite well. So even if, you know, if it's a tough day and you only have the larger sizes or you have the smaller size and you need still to go smaller, and if you don't have any bait, you can still amend that a little bit. It's a great shout. It's an absolutely great shout. Interesting that Ivy mentions that, actually, because in my hand, I have one of the baits I used on my last guided session, <laughs> which you can see not only have we cut, the, cut that down dramatically in terms of the head, but we've also taken quite a lot of the belly off. This It was a rock hard day. Actually, big shout out to Tuck and to mate Tom for a great effort during that day. We caught some fish in the end, but geez, it was hard. So yeah, we were having to cut five and a half mil baits down a bit to get bites. That's how difficult it was. 
but you can do it and it still worked brilliantly on the drop shot on that fork tail. So number two, I wouldn't go to a canal without those. I don't box. think I would. I don't think I would. Right, so that leads us up to your absolute My number absolutely one number favorite one perch fishing favorite lure. perch fishing lure, which is funny because I have a very love hate relationship with it, just like I have with Dante. But it's the uh, Savage Gear Loose Body Soft Foreplay. It's an absolute favorite of mine. The only thing that I dislike is that it's quite hard to find them in the shop. Have they been discontinued? Yeah, no. Savage Gear stopped selling them as individuals. You can still get the packs, the packs but yeah. that won't be around for much longer either, I don't think. Yep, and um, from my experience, because you're catching so many fish on them, uh, sometimes quite a few pike, the tails get nipped, and then you have no shads at all. But I have gone through a lot of these lures. I think, I, thinking back up to like la at this time last year, I was probably even going fishing I wasn't taking any baits at all apart from this. My favorite color was this and there was like a translucent, there it is. That like, glow color. I've got, oh, I can say 99% of all of my Xanders all on this I lure. was gonna mention that actually, <laughs> I mean, you've put it here as a perch lure. If we'd have done top five Xander lures, that would have been that your favorite Xander lure as well. That would have been my favorite Xander lure as well, well we yeah. both did pretty well on those for the Xander, didn't we? There must be something about the flexibility of that loose body that they like. I agree with you, they are a bit fragile, they have a reputation Very for fragile. being fragile, it doesn't take a lot for those tails to get ripped off. But I always used to say to that, geez, if the tail gets ripped off after three or four fish, does it matter if you caught three or four fish on it? Soft plastic costs you, what, a pound? I'd trade you 25p for a fish any day. <laughs> yeah, you would. Yeah, <laughs> I would at the moment. Would. Probably trade you 25 quid. What's your number one? So my number one, this won't be a surprise to you <laughs> or anyone who's ever fished for perch with me. In fact, even those of you who keep up with the vlog will know what's coming absolutely categorically. It's the Savage Gear 3D Bleak Real Tail. It's the most nondescript, plain looking lure you could ever possibly imagine. Actually, having worked in shops selling these, they're a really hard sell because it just doesn't look like much. I mean, they're super realistic, but there's no big thumping tail, there's no big curly tail to it. It essentially just looks like a little dead fish in the pack. Yeah, well, well that's what you want. Yeah, well, ex well ex exactly that. I mean, I only ever, or pretty much only ever fish these um, wheelers rigged sideways on a cheb rig, on a light cheb generally on the canal, or slightly heavier cheb. Cheb yeah. or Yeah, yeah, and, and they are, absolutely lethal I yeah. mean, totally deadly the, the nice perch I had out of the trend recently was on this I remember you and I going down to Norfolk with our mate Rob oh um, god we smashed on them it was we must have done like 150 <laughs> fish that day it was, it was ridiculous yeah every cast there was a fish every cast um, but the, I think the key is with these is to fish them properly I mean you want to fish this you basically just want to bounce it along the bottom very very slowly the, the, the yeah. what I describe it as essentially is quiver tipping with a lure on the end if you're bouncing it constantly, you're probably fishing it too quick. Just let it sit on the deck, just let it sit on the bottom because any fish that's looking down at that, there's no way they're gonna pick that as being an artificial. So uh, wherever I'm going perch fishing these days, or if I'm going sander fishing. You do always think. And it's probably gonna go on first now, just because they're so deadly. Yeah, 3D bleat real tail, you've gotta have those in your box. Very cool bait, I agree. So that's all five for both of us, isn't it? Honestly guys, it was like the most tough decision to pick five. There's been some pretty hot debate <laughs> hasn't there in our living room in the last hour and a half while I've been trying to sort this out. So I have to give a couple of mentions to some of the lures that I really like, it's just they never made uh, number five. One of them is these little spro, I can't say the other word, I I Ikira, yeah, the jointed Ikira. They're absolutely brilliant, they're rattling them, the action, even they look really cool, they are really cool lures and they look really pretty. Yeah, great shout on the Akiris. Uh, I want to mention some of my <sighs> favorite lures that I can't get in the UK, unfortunately. And if anyone knows where I can get them in the UK, please give me a shout because last time I, I was able to buy them was in Lithuania and these are the Lucky John uh, Tioga lures and especially in this color. I really like them. I've caught plenty of fish with them. But again, same thing as with um, the soft play, I just keep losing the tail. Yeah, again, <laughs> pretty fragile those chokers, aren't they? They are a freaking great lure. They've yeah. got a really strong sense. And actually, I've probably had more tail bites from a pike than the perch on these as well. They're a fish catcher, aren't they? Fish really things. like them. And then also I would like to mention, I don't know what they're called. It's I just dying minnow. Is it a dying yeah. minnow? 
They're really, really cool. I really like using them, especially in drop shotting. Interestingly, with the dying minnow, we were talking about the uh, 3D bleak and how to fish that. Before we had the 3D bleak, because these only been around a couple of years, we were fishing them the same, but with the dying minnow. Because right. if you look at them, yeah. the 3D bleak is just like a 21st century version yeah. of the dying minnow, yeah. isn't it? Um, so you can, yeah, they're great on the drop shot, but you can fish them uh, weedless on a channel in Texas so as well. Cool. Look how like they so they, they, and the action, like they're very very soft. They're like, the softest plastic I've ever seen. And I also want to give a big mention to um, the fox spiky shad. Favorite color is this one with the orange tip. Yeah, the old redhead. I, I must admit, of of all the lures on the market, that I look at and think, why didn't I think of that? The spiky is right up there. O obviously, it's gonna have so much movement and it's gonna trap the air and. That's it. it's a it's a cool lure, isn't it's it? That's a cool good lure. idea. Uh, so, do you have any honourable mentions? Yeah, yeah, I've got a couple. Actually, my honourable mentions, honourable mentions, honourable, honourable mentions. <laughs> That's quite good, isn't it? <laughs> are two lures that actually I think are going to be very, very good lures for the next few years to come. But they're quite new, so I didn't feel like I could throw them straight in an all-time list. First one of which, the reaction cray in the five and a half centimetre. There's loads of different creature baits on the market and actually an increasing amount of small ones, I'm thinking Eco Gear, um, Bug Ant and Crazy Fish Nimble and stuff like that. Um, they all work brilliantly and I think the reaction cray is going to be exactly the same. I can't actually hold them still. No, they're so <laughs> They just keep they? moving. Uh, you can see that one there, uh, there's already been used, that's on a Cheb and I think that's how I'll probably be using these going forwards, getting the most out of the movement of those claws. Um, we've already caught fish on these, we've already yep. caught perch, yep. chub, pike, you know, we've, we've done well on these already and I think that as we continue to fish them, I think we'll continue to catch some more fish. The other one is exactly the same story. Um, this is the um, Savage Gear 3D Roach Loose Body Paddle Tail, um, which particularly in the roach coloured one is just cheating. It looks so good, It's ridiculous. It? it literally just looks like a fish in a packet. There's a few different sizes, I've chosen the smaller one here just because I think it's going to be the most versatile one for your perch anglers, you know, scaling down a little bit. Show it to me. There you go. And there's two other colours, there's a fire tiger one which would be great in murky water uh, and there's a kind of a rud coloured one as well, kind of a dirty brown. Uh, they actually do these in a paddle tail which is the one I've chosen for my honourable mention um, just because again it's a bit more versatile. But they do a fork tail version as well, um, which again, it, it just looks like a real fish that's been put in a packet. They do look amazing. They're they? so, so cool. I'm absolutely certain there's going to be, a, they're gone. They're gone forever. <laughs> I'm absolutely certain that these are going to be a really good fish catcher for those guys who pick them up going forwards. I know that some of the guys locally who have bought them have already done really, really well on them. Um, so again, I think if we did this list in 12 months time, the chances are both these uh, loose body roach and the reaction craze will probably be on the list somewhere but for the moment a bit too new gotta to learn a bit more about them well they are cool they're very cool looking ones i'm gonna i have three new ones so i will try it uh next time we go out <laughs> but that said um guys it was so difficult to pick the lures that we actually think are the top five because we use so many of different lures different baits different colors in different kind of waters as well uh, so please 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 let us know in the comments below what is your top five favorite perch lures uh, i would love to find out and in fact the, mo the one that's got mentions the most, I think we're gonna go out buy it. Just that's do a, a cool view. idea, that's a cool idea. So yeah, if we recognize a pattern, if you guys are suggesting the same lure over and over and again, um, we'll go out and we'll do the 100% lure review yep. on yep. that lure. So please get stuck in in the comments section, let us know your top five perch lures, the one that appears the most. We'll buy it. We will get it. We'll go and test it. Well, that was hot debate today. <laughs> this has taken longer than you might expect. There are, you can't see it, but in the background, there are lures everywhere in the living there room. There are lures <laughs> everywhere. There are boxes and boxes. Hot topic. I hope you enjoyed it. We've really enjoyed it, I reckon. It got me really fired up now. I really <laughs> want to go fishing. On that note, I reckon we'll leave you guys to go and do some fishing yourself. Thank you very much for tuning into the video. If you enjoyed it, give it a big thumb. Yeah, please subscribe as well. Please subscribe. We're doing so well with the subs now. It's really starting to take off. So please stay with us on that. There's going to be more cool stuff like this coming. And we'll catch up with you guys again very, very soon. See you later. Take care, folks. Bye-bye.